So I'll start with you, Dr. Meyer. Racism and anti-Semitism. Um, how would you describe both of those being separate and, and similar? I think in many ways they're very similar. The impulse for someone who is an anti-Semite or a racist is the same impulse. Mm. To denigrate the other, to promote yourself by putting somebody else down. That general impulse, I think, is the same in all kinds of, of uh, anti-whatever right. movements. It's obviously in America that the degree has been different. Um, the way in which African Americans have been mistreated in America is greater than the degree to which Jews have been mistreated in America. But the impetus behind that mistreatment, I would say, is the same. Okay, Dr. Kim. Um, well, when, when anti-Semites are attacking Jewish people or Jewish buildings, they're not stopping us first to ask whether we observe the kosher laws and don't eat pork, or we observe the Sabbath. You know, it's not based on religious grounds. They're targeting us because they see us as Jews, whether we identify as Jews or not. And in that sense, it's, it's something that they're ascribing. If you go outside of the States and you think about the different ways that Jews have been othered, persecuted, oppressed, there have been contexts in which Jews have been persecuted on religious grounds. They were the wrong religion. Uh, there have been times and places where they've been persecuted on racial grounds and actually defined as a separate race and murdered because of that. And obviously, right. the, the Holocaust is the, is the, uh, is the classic example um, of that. But if we think about anti-Semitism and prejudice, there are ways in which, uh, anti-Semitism and racism, there are ways in which, in which anti-Semitism is a form of racism. Right. There are ways in which it's different from it as well. And if you think about the ways even that the Jewish community will talk about anti-Semitism. The Anti-Defamation League, for example, right. uh, will talk about the number of anti-Semitic incidents. Right. We talk about anti-Semitism in terms of something that you can count, incident by incident. We generally don't talk about racism in the States in terms of incidents. We talk right. about it as systemic and right. structural. And I think that we could pull back and we can talk about systemic structural dimensions to anti-Semitism historically and globally too, right. even though in the States we usually don't. Right.